What is that? Is it a war memorial? No, it's a memorial to George Parker Bitter QC. Like, what's a QC? Well, it's a senior lawyer appointed by the Queen. Oh, which Queen are we talking about? Queen Victoria. If you look on the side facing the road, there's an inscription that says that it was put up in 1896, in remembrance of his efforts to preserve this common. The letters are a bit faded, though. I think it could do with repainting. Anyway, I'll tell you the story if you want. Okay, go ahead. I'm actually fascinated, you know. In the 19th century, a number of people were going on the common and digging up gravel. Oh, really? What for? Gravel was used to make concrete. There was a building boom going on during the Victorian period. Oh, yes, I think I read that somewhere. Well, anyway, people were just wandering over there and digging holes to take away the gravel. Some of those holes filled up with water, and that's where we get the ponds from today. The Seven Islands Pond, for example, was one such hole. People also dug up turf and cut down trees. Turf? Like, what was the turf used for? It could be burnt for fuel. Well, local people got quite annoyed by this. So George Parker Bidder started to campaign for a new law to protect the common. Wow. Was there an actual, like, law made just for Mitcham Common? No, other commons around the country were being protected as well. But for some, such as Croydon Common, it was too late. Croydon Common? Where's that? I haven't heard of it. It's gone. There is no Croydon Common. Wow, so Mr. Bitter got the law just in time to save Mitcham Common? Amazing. Yes, that's why there's a memorial to him. That's like far out. 